joined here by uh, Morten and we're gonna see a replay of me playing Nidalee top. It's the last game of my uh, team builder project and uh, I'm playing against now. Yeah, welcome. Uh, yeah, thanks man, thanks for having me. So, um, yeah, this is uh, probably the f fifth time out of ten games I meet uh, now top. So it's, uh, I kind of get used to the matchup right here. Okay. The first thing about uh, uh, the matchup is that uh, is that you shouldn't uh, fight him when he's uh, in uh, mega na form and just try to, uh, yeah, it's easy kill early. Yeah, that's true. Especially when you're playing a champion like Nidalee who just needs to poke. Yeah, so um, I would always start the Q and then W for the level 2. Yeah. And uh, I would probably go Ignite if I was against... Uh, uh, but uh, Teleport is just uh, better in general. Yeah, that's, that's completely true. And we're actually playing against the uh, Diamond uh, Rengar this game. But luckily he doesn't uh, camp top that much. <laughs> That's a good thing because... Well, uh, at least when you get set back you have teleport just to keep up with the farm yeah. of Gnar. That's one note that... Uh, that's not one of the main skills uh, of this... Uh, this now. So yeah, here we're in lane. I'm just trying to um, be aggressive and uh, uh, with the I'm trying to avoid uh, getting minion mini damage at the same time. Right, and you started your Q as you said. Is it like, um, do you start uh, different abilities versus different champions, or do you mostly start uh, Q on the Lee? Um, most you can uh, start all the free actually. All right. Um, but uh, Q is for for uh, chemist easy to kill. You can see here right here Q. Uh, this the uh, the Q W company just took all his health. Yeah, it was like uh, forty five percent health left, I think. So. He didn't really do that much damage back. No. Nice trade, nice trade there. Yeah. But yeah, it's um, against range champions. I would uh, go E first. All right. For the heal. Yeah, yeah, that's true. You can sustain a little more. Yeah, so right here, Nars in turning into the big form. Is that the reason why you're staying back right now? Yeah, and uh, you see, uh, that might make a real big mistake. Try to fight. And I'm dead. So that's that. Um, you should just uh, run away. Yeah, that's true. But it kind of shows that you uh, shouldn't fight. Uh, <laughs> you never should fight a big gnar. We well, did a lot of damage to him, uh, though. Yeah. Um, for this uh, this uh, project, I actually used uh, hybrid boons of the Italy. Because, All right. Because uh, I didn't know I were going to against, and um, kind of makes uh, you still do lots of AB damage. Yeah. Makes it a little easier for your matchup in lane. Yeah, Doesn't really matter. You don't need the AD for um, for farming. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Especially when you hit the cougar form, of course. But uh, yeah, it's all your own preference. Yeah. And I'm trying to uh, trade, uh, get Q and Na here. Or um, despite he, we are almost equal uh, right now. He got a cloth armor, but um, I'm far ahead in the CS. 
Yeah, far ahead actually. Yeah. And I will be at that uh, rest of the game. Actually. Yeah. And he should be dead now. It's almost turning into Big Nar again. Uh, no, uh, I missed the Q. Yeah, if I hit the Q, he would be dead. Yeah, probably, yeah. Oh, well, he hit that Q. And I tried to stand, but... Uh, yeah. It's the Big Nar again. Oh, well, he is he's fairly low, though. Yeah. You hit the Q again. And I did it. Nice, that's a very nice kill. Well calculated, by the way. Yep. In yeah, in this position, I would probably have backed when you hit the uh, when you hit the first like trade. And you dealt uh, a lot of damage. And uh, the reason I stayed is because uh, it's a uh, cannon win, and I will miss mine. Yep. Yeah, it's definitely but worth uh, it to stay there. Yeah. And I uh, missed a lot. Mazaris is the 21.9 of course, and some people do a 9.21, but uh, it get doesn't really help getting into the defensive tree. No, no, no. Uh, you, you get plenty of sustained late game as well. Yeah. And um, I will uh, go through the main uh, item builds in this game. Which is uh, Triforce first, with the uh, Sheen as the main com component. Yeah. And uh, there are many companies you can do with the uh, Sheen active, uh, like the, the trap, you get uh, a charge on the Sheen. This is really, oh that's pretty cool actually, I never knew that. Yeah. And yeah, once you hit the Sheen you'll probably deal a lot more damage even. Um, yeah, that's a bad trap. And uh, normally you would uh, have traps uh, around the uh, out of the against the river. Yeah. And uh, yeah, now I'm taking advantage of uh, his mega form. So yeah, right now uh, we're even. Uh, Gold right now. Yeah, uh, the team general. So exactly. Nothing big there. Nothing too hap too bad happened so far. So. In this game, I actually get a little carried in the start, but I uh, will uh, carry the game at the end. All right. All right. So no worries. But, uh, yeah. Nice Q That's there. Yeah. And I'm trying to go into the bush to. Uh, yeah. It's a great idea there, by the way. Yeah, and this Q. And he. Alts me away. Which means I should go into a present stance now, right now. And he misses the boomerang? Instead I'm trying to, um, in this case you want to uh, freeze the lane and yeah. uh, try to make him stay in the lane so he misses as much as possible. Which is something he can't really afford at this point, Yeah. since he's already but far behind. One note uh, when you're playing Nidalee is that uh, uh, your, your heal does really uh, much um, it's a high mana cost, so try not to um, to overuse it because it will bring your chances of winning your lane. Yeah. So um, yeah, if you want to be a good Nidalee player, you have to uh, know when to be aggressive and when to uh, stand back. All right. And that's, uh, one reason I will choose this uh, replay was because uh, my uh, positioning in team fights were what decided the game really. Right. And of course, yeah. 
So basically if you're a good enough Nidalee player you don't really need to heal that much. Uh, I would try to take... Yeah, I would try to... Nice dodge there by the way. Yeah, but generally you want to... Uh, when he goes in on you, you just want to... Um, uh, go into cooler form and then jump away from him. Alright. And on so you can, uh, oh, but if you can't f find the opening against him, he's uh, very weak. As for counters, uh, Nidalee doesn't really have a a real counter. She's uh, thanks to her update, where she has uh, all that level one. Yeah. You can just um, be real safe against ranged champions. She's so even more mobile right now. One counter to uh, Middle East is uh, perhaps Renekton. And yeah. Oh, the nice gank here? Yeah. We still got the kill off, yeah. Yes. I have a uh, uh, 600 gold lead on uh, now right now. Which is. Uh, uh, Quite a lot actually when you are looking at the, the overall gold, gold of the game. It's definitely quite a lot. Yeah, so I got um, Paige and she. Alright. Paige will give you a lot of um, mobility. Uh, which is why uh, when the uh, AP in Italy was. Uh, very uh, popular, you would uh, sometimes even go uh, movement speed because uh, she is really good at uh, being aggressive. Yep. And uh, she can just uh, go back if it doesn't turn away. Right, so, so yeah. what is Nar building exactly? So Nar is basically still as basically nothing. Yeah, and I think I'm. And he's dead. Nice, nice flash there, by the way. Good re engage. Yeah. And R definitely oh, yeah. went too deep there. Yeah, the 50 against 90 as he is, is not good. No, indeed. But yeah, uh, our team is uh, having a light comeback. Especially since uh, Rengar took some early kills. Yeah, we are. Um, it's. Yeah, it's kind of quite even right now. In the form of the other lanes. Uh, when you get a tower uh, this early, you want generally want to roam, but uh, it's kind of hard there uh, with an Akali against uh, Ariana. Yeah. So, and Breaker seemed to uh, focus a lot of on the bot lane and mid lane. So you basically have three, three playing room there. Yeah. Right, so Nars ult is ticking down. Yeah. I'm trying to get a Q, uh, and he really doesn't do any damage to me. No, his boomerang's hit for nothing. Yeah, on my back, I got the uh, um, cooldown boots, and uh, I can again fly. Hazix. Right, flash is burned. Yeah. Nice skew yeah. to finish it off. Gonna be a, a better plan. No, exactly. It was perfect. Yes. Uh. Shut down. So, yeah. If the Kha'Zix was aware about uh, Rengar's uh, 
You know, I don't think it will be so aggressive. That. Yeah. Yeah, we're trying to make a play. Yeah. Which bet off? But uh, make ults and get a kill. And there's Ringo. Right. Nice. Just teleported. Um, top and mid lane is dead. Yeah, basically yes. Yeah, so we should just uh, force T fights right now. And yeah. So you're basically waiting for an opening now, so you can all yeah. fall in. Nice Q. Yeah, but um, the usual comp was uh, with the Italy is the is uh, you hit a, if you hit a Q, then uh, you go into Q form and then W in when if you're in range and then Q dot uh, yeah E yeah but uh, yeah my team uh, goes in without me which is a huge mistake. For them. And it gives them an opening back. Yep. Also, Lucian is just pushing out bot. Yep. So yeah, this is a uh, high. Oh, you finished Team. Trinity Force as well. Uh, yep. Yeah. I can't really fight. Uh, Let's try it. So. Okay, and now. Nah. Almost going a little too deep there. Yeah, I knew, I knew that uh, the rest was. Uh, Around mid lane. Uh, didn't want to go. So yeah, now we are even going almost. Uh, yeah, your advantage is almost lost there. Yeah. Normally, as little you want to, and uh, when you get the uh, 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 Sheen and the uh, Vampiric Sember, you actually have enough sustain to uh, negate the damage of the uh, uh, jungle creep. So, taking the golems when you're top, uh, when you're purple, is a uh, uh, thing I highly recommend. Alright. You can get some extra golden experience in. Yeah. Maybe when it's not necessarily going as well as it is going for you right now, you can always come back from that a little. Yeah. And we are trying to start a fight. And uh, watching my uh, position, I'm just trying to pick up the targets. Chasing on to the AD carry, it's always a good plan. And I knew that Oriana was uh, dead. I just went for the Caitlyn. Yeah, she's she has no protection at that point. Yeah, and try to boost. Uh, yeah, it. Uh, I probably should have went for Ariana. So I think I thought that uh, Sterling was uh, to squeeze you too. Yeah. So generally you want to, uh, yeah. even though you are, uh, even though it, it uh, nearly 80 is uh, the thing right now, uh, you still want to uh, 
position like uh, AP in Italy. Alright, so just from the yeah, back, uh, land some spears. Yeah, try to stay out. Uh, Italy is still uh, considered an assassin. Yeah. So you want to uh, stay out of sight and uh, don't get CC'd. And wait for an opportunity yeah. to come in. Yeah. And the, the enemy team is not that. Uh, have that much CC. Oh, that's true. I can. Uh, in this matchup, I would just. Uh, yeah, go in when the uh, Oriana or blows uh, ultimate. Then. Yeah, then you're good to go. Yeah. Promise. Uh, yeah. Promise also a really good uh, peeler for this. Yeah. So we are trying to uh, start a fight uh, around Dragon. Yeah. And TP comes in. Yeah. Oriana's uh, in exposed position. I can't uh, lose and have uh, to get the credit for this fight. Easy clean up time for you. Yeah. It's just showing a. Uh, you get Drake for this as well. Yeah. So. I'm not free yet. Uh, Almost finishes your Bork, I think. Yeah, and. Kaden is too. So yeah, um, the three main items uh, I would go on in Italy is usually a uh, Triforce, a uh, Blade of the Rune King, and then I would uh, then I would uh, go for the Frozen Heart. Yeah, because uh, it's really good. Uh, Mostly uh, when you're not against a full AP team. Yeah, that's true. And you re really want to uh, get the AD carry first because uh, and Frost Heart really gives you the tankness to withstand that. Yeah, and since there are only true burst damages, yeah, from the ADs and uh, the Oriana ult probably. It's a nice I item to really pick up. I wouldn't really go a uh, full AD Italy. It's not uh, if I would only do that uh, when I was against a uh, one with no CC at all, and that happens very not really often. Yeah. So your team yeah. picked up the lead again? Yeah, uh, yeah I just uh, half the uh, HP of uh, Oriana. The combo. Also helps uh, that you have double buff now. Yeah. Uh, and this is, uh, yeah. They use all the CC and. I just stayed in the back end yeah. and tried to pick up the target. It's really a good uh, fighter for shows. Yeah, and if you didn't do that, you probably wouldn't have won that fight either. Mm. <laughs> Cal 6 feels his jump there, but that's okay. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> yeah. I would think that, I would say that this Cal 6 is probably a little too aggressive. But it's okay. Win anyway. It paid off eventually. Yeah. So yeah. It's a pretty much uh, GG, right? And yeah. Uh, there's not really that much opportunity come back from this.
Yeah. Also, your team has a, a great um, engage a strategy, but they also have nice peel and disengage with the Braum. It's pretty balanced, I'd say. Well, their team has some disengage and yeah, it's mostly it's mostly uh, going in or going home, I think. Yeah, the real uh, the the silly all really do doesn't pay off uh, anyone on the team really. No, it's you can uh, just engage again if if so yeah. This is really good uh, with the uh, hyper carry that. Uh, or assassin that dives in and then have a thing alive. Exactly, I wouldn't have picked um, Zillion in that team comp as well. Yeah, <coughs> but it's a uh, team builder, so it's Yeah, that's true, you can't really control it that much, so. The team tried to uh, fight here and I'm TPing in. One thing I don't really didn't do really much is use my TV to skill. Yeah, but I think you used it at the perfect timing though. Which yeah. might be w m worth more, eventually. It is a turret damage, uh, but... Nice heal. heal coming in. Doesn't really matter since you have the blue buff as well. Yeah, and Look at that. That was really good, well played by Ariana actually. Yeah, that was a nice ult. I'm surprised you saved it, actually. I, yeah, I thought you would have used it yeah, by Yeah, the, the shield was... Uh, I was really surprised by how it really should uh, just... Uh, and I wouldn't uh, have done this uh, Baron. I think Kha'Zix is too low for it. Braum is not really that tanky since it's only 27 minutes into the game. Yeah. And... Uh, the main carry is uh, not over. And because of that, we lose the spare. And. When you're ahead, you really shouldn't give uh, the opponent an uh, opportunity to come back. No. Yeah, it would have definitely have been better if you just if they all just went back and regrouped. Personally, I uh, I'm really skeptical about uh, going in all the time. Really, I've 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 more the type that uh, stays back and see an opportunity. If I don't, I don't go in. Yeah. Well, Nilly is a great champion for that as well. Yeah. But she kind of needs to. Uh, she really doesn't need to get a hit. She could just go uh, tank and be a uh, really annoying champion to play against. Yeah. But yeah, the hard counters are those who with the uh, gap close and so. Uh, are strong and pushing and uh, controlling the waves. The rest should be no problem if you can play her of, as well. Yeah. Alright, so you pick up another dragon here. Yeah, it doesn't really matter at this point. It's just so that they can get it and get get back from it. And yeah, if you have uh, questions about this video and uh, questions for me or Modern, then uh, you can just uh, write in the uh, commentary. Yeah. We would love to answer your questions. Yeah, and we want uh, feedback on uh, what we should mention and. Uh, yeah, for future videos. Yeah, because this. Yeah, we we haven't uh, have a schedule to go after, so but 
But yeah. How uh, do you think about this uh, material game? Uh, what uh, basically you want to uh, want to know with uh, something uh, we could do better? Yeah. Yeah. So, what do you think? Uh, well, I think. Um, I think maybe Illusion should have focused a little more on farming because he, uh, yeah, he, he was set back, of course, but. He had some opportunity to farm a little more, in my opinion. Yeah. And Lucian is a is a strong champion to get back with, since you have this passive. But uh, overall, uh, I'd say you had some, yeah, awesome team fights, of course. Yeah. It was clearly the thing you were winning on because uh, I think if the team fights didn't go that well, you would have obviously won your lane. But it might not have been enough to carry, and I think. Uh, Especially, <laughs> well, yeah. the Kha'Zix went a little ham sometimes. He, yeah, he had some great engages, and you had yeah. the great damage when uh, opportunity struck. So, I think it's a great game overall. Were some little yeah. mistakes, but not that many. Maybe the Baron was a, almost a throw there, but they were too far behind to, to yeah, yeah to cap caption on that. So. I think that. Uh, I didn't want this game and I didn't really And I'm I'm fully aware about that and Yeah sometimes you just But it would just really matter when you are ahead because it's Especially you easily turn the gang around. Yeah. This game. Especially when but playing Italy. But yeah, remember to ward. Yeah, warding is, is pretty important. Yeah. But do you think this that uh, the enemy team could have done better so that they wouldn't have uh, fallen behind this much or maybe they could have come back? Yeah. Wasn't really... I didn't really see a lot of mistakes on their part. Maybe that uh, Nar went too deep sometimes. But overall they didn't really play that bad. It's just that you played a little better. And I think your team comp was a lot better as well. You had way more synergy. It's really hard to. Uh, all right, we hope, of course, you have learned something about uh, team fighting because I wasn't uh, taking advantage of my uh, advantage uh, either this game. But in the end of the day, in, in the in the end of the day, it really doesn't matter. Yeah, it's not. It's not just a waiting game because they they probably know in the back of their head that they're going to lose. It's just trying to delay it as much as they can. Kalsix is already pushing out top, which is only an open and never there. There, I think. Really would uh, wouldn't uh, go um, for the last items of Italy just to uh, mention them is uh, probably gonna be um, spirit research because of the stain and uh, and it really gives you uh, yeah we are gonna put the as built in the description. All right. Anyways, uh, we don't really have time because uh, the game will end in 
very soon, yeah. Yeah. The Skatelin just won't die. Yeah. Oh, gets, gets the reset, jumps back out again. Yeah, I'm GG. And that's the end of the game. Yeah. Alright guys, so let us know in the comments what you think, and yeah, we'll see you next time. Yeah.